Cobb County is the third largest county in the Atlanta metro area, but is one of the fastest growing. In this video, I'm giving you the top 10 reasons why so many people are moving to Cobb. Let's begin. What's up guys, my name is Anthony Laborde and I am your YouTube Realtor here in the ATL. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing. This is where you're gonna learn something cool, something fresh about Atlanta, Georgia every single week. And heck, while you're at it, go ahead and hit that little bell, hit the like button, be proactive, stop procrastinating, you're gonna love this video. So go ahead and get it out of the way, like the video, subscribe, hit my little bell, Let's move forward with this newly found relationship. And if you know somebody that's moving to Atlanta or want to know more about it, please pass along my information. Hearing from more and more people every single day from all over the world and just having too much fun doing it. But in this video, we're talking about Cobb County. Now, a little bit about Cobb. We're the third largest county in the state of Georgia. In terms of population, we have 750,000 people in one county, that's the same as most small cities. In Atlanta, we have a population of 6 million. But in the next 20 years, we're expected to reach 9 million, making us one of the largest cities in the US, one of the fastest growing. A lot of that growth is gonna come here in Cobb. Again, we're at 750. We're gonna reach a million residents here in Cobb County in the next 20 years. That is unprecedented growth. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why so many people are moving here, all the benefits, Let's begin. So the first category and arguably the most important is our tax rate. Now keep in mind the state of Georgia has 150 counties in it. Cobb County is the third largest in the entire state and one of the largest here in the Atlanta metro area. Now the first tax is our sales tax. The state requires a 4% sales tax and then the counties put their own additional tax rate on there. So Cobb County puts a 2% tax rate making it a 6% sales tax Again, one of the lowest in the entire Atlanta metro area and the state. To give you an idea, it is lower than 98% of the other counties, the other 150 counties here in Georgia. It's lower than 75% of the nationwide counties. The next on the list is the property tax. Again, one of the lowest in the country. The state of Georgia has a 0.95% average rate. The county has a 0.72%. Again, this is one of the lowest in the entire state. It is absolutely the lowest in the Atlanta metro area. There's actually only 10 other counties in the entire state that have a lower tax rate than Cobb County does. Now, if you're a senior citizen, that is a completely different story altogether. If you've seen my other video about best suburbs in Atlanta, I talk about Marietta and Cobb County and it being one of the retirement havens for senior citizens. Because when you come here, you get a drastic reduction on your property taxes. You also get an exemption from your school taxes and those are almost completely wiped out. So uh, property taxes, school taxes, tax rate overall for senior citizens and anybody in Cobb County is one of the lowest in the state. I mentioned the school taxes here in Cobb, but that brings us to reason number two. And that is that Cobb County is home to some of the very best schools, elementary, middle school, high schools, private schools, charter schools, magnet schools, in the entire country. Here's a list here. We have Walton High School. Again, one of the best uh, best high schools in the entire country. The Walker School, Mount Perrin Christian School. These are two of some of the best private schools. Uh, but then we have Lassiter, Kennesaw Mountain, Pope, Wheeler, Whitfield. All of these are some of the highest ranking schools in the entire country, all located here in Cobb. They have the best graduation rates, uh, getting them ready for uh, college preparedness. Athletes, check out this list here. You can see that Cobb County is number three uh, in the entire Atlanta metro area for best school districts for athletes. And if you don't think Atlanta metro can pump out some athletes, we have over 100 professional athletes that have played in, in some realm of professional sports out of Cobb County. We currently have over 50 that are actively playing in a professional sports that were raised here in Cobb County. Also one of the most diverse school districts, the best teachers, best places to teach, best school districts in the entire Atlanta Metro. Cobb County is known for having the best school districts in the entire country. So reason number three on the list is the same reason that Wine Spectacular, Bon Appetit, and the Food Network have all named Cobb County as must visits on their list of restaurant guides. 
Guys, if you're a foodie, you're gonna absolutely love living in Cobb County. We have such a wide range of restaurants throughout all these suburbs, everything from small dining to fine dining to luxury restaurants. Many of these restaurants have been featured in magazines, on TV shows. To give you an example, Big Pie in the Sky, which is a unique pizzeria here in town. They've been featured on Man vs. Food. Canoe, which is a fine dining restaurant, has been featured on The Best Thing I Ever Ate. Airline Market Barbecue, also the best thing I ever ate. Henry's Louisiana Grill, I've mentioned in my video about Ackworth, Georgia, right up here, one of the best Cajun restaurants you've ever been at. They've been featured on Ginormous Food, as well as ABC's Nightline for favorite local chef in America. Uh, that's Henry over at Henry's Louisiana Grill. Marietta Diner has been featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dies. Guys, the list just goes on and on. The number of awards and programs that have come out here and featured uh, Cobb County restaurants. If you're a foodie, you're gonna love living in Cobb. So reason number four on the list is that all the incredible shopping we have here in Cobb, everything from high-end retail to small boutiques, to craft stores, to thrift shops, to antique markets. And it doesn't matter what part of Cobb you live in, one of these venues is just minutes away from you. We have Cumberland Mall, Town Center at Cobb, the Galleria, uh, Vining's Jubilee, the Avenue at East Cobb, West Cobb, Marietta Square, West Village, Smyrna Market Village. Guys, there is just all kinds of shopping venues, again, from small to large, to name brand, to thrift stores, to antique shops all over the county. Now, I've mentioned in some of my other videos how Atlanta Metro is just a massive sports town. Well, a big part of that is Cobb County, and that brings us to number five on our list is that Cobb is a huge sports county. I mentioned in my other videos how Atlanta Metro has 17 professional sports teams. Yes, 17 in there. Here in Cobb, we have three of those teams located here in our county. The first one is the Atlanta United, which is our professional soccer team. Then the Atlanta Blaze, which is our professional lacrosse team. And then Cobb is also home to Truist Field, which is where the Atlanta Braves play baseball. In addition to the professional sports, we're also known for international and national sporting events for youth and adults. Perfect game, triple crown sports, the Korean Paralympic tra uh, team training, and the offense de defense bowl, I can't speak English here, are only a few of the sporting events that take place here in Cobb. If team sports aren't your thing and you just like being outdoors, Cobb is the place for you. We have over 200 miles of hiking and biking trails, 44 park facilities, over 1,300 acres of green space, and 1.4 trillion gallons of water including all of our parks and rivers and streams all around this area. included in all that green space is the chattahoochee river national recreation area where we have over 9,000 acres again of hiking and biking trails the river runs through there uh, we also have kennesaw mountain national battlefield you see my other videos up here i spend a lot of time out at the national park this is over 17 miles of hiking trails, uh, picnic areas, there's a visitor center, lots of Civil War history in there, but if you're a sports fan or love being outdoors, you're gonna love being in Cobb. So another reason so many people are moving to Cobb is that if you are a fan of arts and theater, you're gonna love living here. We have so many venues and museums and art galleries and theaters and the Georgia Symphony plays here, the Georgia Ballet plays here. Cobb is home to the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center. This is a 3,000 seat venue. It's got a 10,000 square foot ballroom. This is the ballets there, the Atlanta Opera. Down in Marietta, we have the Cobb Museum of Art, where again, paintings and sculptures and just a lot of uh, local artists display their findings there. Out at Kennesaw State University, we have the Steelwell Theater. That's where the Georgia Symphony plays quite a lot. The Georgia Ballet is out there. Then down in Mableton, and I've talked about Mableton up here in my most affordable suburbs, had the Mabel House Barnes Amphitheater, and that's an outdoor amphitheater. We have all kinds of concerts and everything. So again, if you're into arts of any kind, whether it be the symphony, the ballet, the plays, comedy, live stages, live music, anything, you're gonna love living here in Cobb. Number seven on my list is actually one of my personal favorites, and that's the amount of history here in Cobb County. If you've seen any of my other videos, I talk about this all the time, whether it be the Battle of Kennesaw, the Civil War, when Sherman was coming through here and burned the city down on his march to the sea. But there's just a tremendous amount of not only Civil War history, but there's a lot of Native American history in here. And that doesn't get much attention because of uh, all the Civil War battles that took place and the importance that Atlanta played in the Civil War. But the Native American history here and the Trail of Tears and the Cherokee Indians and how they were pushed out by the, the gold rush, just an amazing amount of history all over the county. If you're a history buff, you're gonna love living in Cobb. Next on our list is the accessibility 
to everything in Atlanta Metro. If you're familiar with the layout of the city, Cobb County sits just north of uh, downtown, midtown, but it's easy access to everything. It's right by both main freeways. 75 runs right down through there. 285, which is the loop that goes all the way around the city. Cobb County is strategically located right there. So easy access to the airport, into the city, up to the mountains in North Georgia, over east to Dunwoody and Sandy Springs and the Perimeter Mall, and just super easy access to everything in the Atlanta metro area, including Alabama, North Georgia, in the mountains. It's just the perfect location and easy accessibility to everything. So the last item on our list and definitely not the least is that if you like microbreweries, if you like home brewed brewskis, you're gonna love living in Cobb County. We have one of the highest population of microbreweries anywhere in the Atlanta metro area. We have 11 of them just here in the county. Uh, one of the newest one is Glover Park right there on Marietta Square. Red Hair Brewing Company also has a new one there. Dry County is up in Kennesaw, but then all around East Cobb, West Cobb are breweries all over the place. So if you like microbreweries, you're going to love living here. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this list. Hope you learned a little bit about Cobb County. Again, we're the third largest county in the area. We're the fastest growing in the area. If you have any questions whatsoever about moving to Georgia, relocating here, or maybe you just want to learn more about the Atlanta metro area, please hit me up. Please pass along my information meeting more and more people every day, and I'd love to help you guys out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we will be talking to you soon.